Steve Bronson, hope you got that bubble gut all squared away. Damn, my eyes itchy. Allergy season. I'm watching on my uh, phone here. Let's see if this is going to work. Let's see if it's going to work. Come on, man. Refresh. Refresh this mofo. Let's see. Chad, Lucky Beans, how you doing? I guess it's work. I don't know. My live. Hey, Bay. Hey, how you doing, Liz? Good to see you. It says it's waiting for me. Got to be live. Hey, Susie, how you doing, sweetie? Scottish, Shamay, Mew, good morning to you. I'm wearing my new Wally World. Uh, Wally World colorful tent. <laughs> I like it. $5 grab bag. <laughs> Make me happy. What are we, okay, so now I see it. There we go. So um, let's see. Let's see. All right, there we go. Some say bad news or nothing. Oh, the top looks like a Nordstrom. That no, works. I only stay for a few. So good to see you. Hi, Barrel. Good morning. Bad news, Anna. Let's get acquainted. Um, is back on 2021. I'm not sure. I know which Anna. That is, to tell you the truth. What the hell's wrong with this thing? There we go. How you doing, Lou? I think it's working now. I've been about in a while. My world, my way. Sorting out my van and my life. How you doing, Will B? Nice to see you today. Beautiful. Yeah, thank you, Livy. It's not very, it's not very figure flattering, but it's comfortable, you know, because we're it's gonna be hotter than hell, hotter than hell coming up. So it's nice to see you guys this morning. Oh, Cassandra, how you doing, sweetie? Had some visitors on the um, rancher last night that I'll get into a little, a little bit. A lot of you know Pocket Changey, uh, my friend for a couple of years here, and he's a uh, he's a big boisterous guy. And at like 11, 11 15 last night, I'm still in the kitchen, you know, I don't know, cleaning up or doing something in there, and I hear Rose. He always calls me Rose. 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 Open up. You can hear him in the whole neighborhood. Rose screaming outside. And he's got a he's got somebody with him, and I never met this guy before. And some of you, some of you, uh, some of you may know, have heard, have seen him. I know Charlotte did last night. He's a friend of uh, Blackbirds, uh, and it's Dr. Cushman, K U S H M A N. And I'm going to ask one of my uh, moderators to put the link in the description box. He's a nice guy. Uh, he's an, of Armenian descent, which I thought was interesting because, as you know, when I was down in L.A. in the fall, I was looking around and sought out little Armenia to try some Armenian food, and I quite enjoyed it down there. His name is Dr. D.R. Cushman, K-U-S-H-M-A-N. Looks like he has a green frog or something for an avatar, something like that. So... Uh, and he was a real nice, real nice guy. So we drank some beers uh, last night. I don't know what the hell that thing's doing there. Let's see. How you doing, Sister Earth? Good to see you. So maybe you can find... I'm not sure if I can post his link or not. I don't know. I don't think I can here. I'm, I think I'm watching on my... I think I'm ro watching on the Rosie Murphy side. Hey, monkey boy, I got a text this morning that uh, they found out who was impersonating you. I'll text you and let you know. Nathan, long time no see. How you doing, Nathan? Good to see you. Yeah, there's, let me just double check that. Yeah, that's Dr. Cushman's channel. If you could um, sub him up, that would be great. That would be excellent. If you could sub him up. Let me see. Yeah, if you could sub him. He was live gone across the Golden Gate this morning, so try to give him some support. He seems like a nice guy. I mean, uh, I'm not quite sure why he came up to Santa Rosa. Uh, probably to visit um, 
Okay, Nathan, probably to visit uh, PC. I'm not really sure, so. Uh, weird man, but only some links and charts work for me. It should be hard. How you doing, Amelia? Good morning. You got him? Yeah, sub him up. He does live streams. This guy's been on since 2006 on YouTube. 2006. That's like seven years before, six and a half years before I was, all right. And uh, he hasn't really done much on YouTube, and I was joking with him last night. I said, man, imagine where you'd be if you had done something. <laughs> really tried to build something in 2000, 2006, you'd really be a superstar, man, you know, so. How you doing, Marie? Long time no see. So thank you, Scottish. If you could post that link once in a while, let's see if we can get... Um, Let's see if we can get uh, Dr. Cushman. He came and spent about two hours. Really nice guy. Very well-mannered. Uh, he does have a job, which is shocking. <laughs> In my universe a lot, that's a real rarity, right? To have somebody that uh, actually uh, holds down a job and is working and all that. Thank you, Jay Money. Yes, yeah, sum him up. Let him, be, uh, let him be happy. Hey, sissy, how are you? Um... You've been busy with family. Yeah, can you believe it, Amelia? Five days. Five days of... Uh, so this is... Let me see something here. Mom and Dad. Wow, Jan is having a big day. She's got... Uh, let's see. She's got a text from uh, Jan. And she's got ten, ten family members over today. <laughs> Yeah, how do you like that, Sister Earth? One of the uh, one of the rare ones that works on there. That's pretty funny. How you doing, Cat? Yeah, can you believe? Think about this, Amelia. Think about a uh, revolver with six chambers in it, and you're playing Russian roulette, and there's there's one bullet in one of the chambers. So you have five empty chambers in one live round. And every day, oh, I'm spinning that, I'm spinning that cylinder, close it up, click Monday, nothing, click Tuesday, nothing, like something out of Deer Hunter, every afternoon at 5 p.m., 5.02, I'm calling in, Wednesday, click, <laughs> Thursdays. This is, oh, this is really getting intense. Click. <laughs> and then Fridays. This is, oh, man. I survived every damn day. I didn't get one, one damn, how you doing, Toodles? I didn't get one call in for uh, jury duty, unbelievably. Uh, never sat on a jury. I know that numbers game. That is cool. How you doing, Magenta? Good morning, Psyche. Thank you. I appreciate that. I was uh, got up a little late because, uh, well, you can see over here that uh, we got some. I had a little aftermath of last night's party when I met uh, Dr. Cushman and. Uh, PC last night, so I haven't haven't cleaned up yet. So. All right, good morning, Diane. I miss a lot of things. I'm old, so okay. All right, I'm an old bat. I'm an old bat. So please sub up to uh, Dr. Cushman. Let's see if we can. Hey, Ilva, how you doing? Uh, if you could put his link down there a couple more times, that would be great. Last night's stream. I didn't stream it. I didn't stream it last night. Uh, yeah, there's uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Cushman. Very nice guy. He was streaming this morning, going across the Golden Gate uh, Bridge. And uh, he's like, uh, he's like, he, can he crash here last night? Man, I don't have any beds left him at all because between Elvis and uh, Chris rich life of road trips every air mattress has been flattened and destroyed <laughs> I got nothing here now I got nothing nothing yeah we had a good time yeah I had a party without you 
Where's that Mickey and Minnie? I'm sure it's somewhere around, Diane. You miss the veggie garden. It's just, I'm on the road so much, Amelia, that, um, you know, I just didn't think it was fair to the plants to grow a garden. And um, plus, we're in a terrible drought here. And they're just encouraging people not to use any water at all. I do have the well water to use. But I'm saving that for the uh, fruit trees and things. So, how you doing, Jen? Jen, nice to see you. Take care, Scottish. Take care. So I'm watching on my S9 Plus while I'm uh, live streaming on the S10. Used to hear it wear it on here like a year ago Disneyland shirt it's the one with the red sleeves yeah I got it around somewhere yep problem is I get like um, you know 50 t-shirts sent to me a year All right so it's it's hard to go through and I tend to be a person I tend to be a dresser of habit if it's comfortable if it if it looks decent then I tend to uh, just dress that way so my world, we've had lots of rain over here. It's turning out to be really nice and hot. Go, Yeah, I'm going to buy that Psyche. My things have sold really well. I've sold um, a, a gimbal, which is something that helps stabilize video on larger, larger cameras. I've sold uh, my Sony ZV-1 camera, compact camera. I've sold... Uh, external recorder Atmos Ninja external recorder as well as um, my drone I'm selling the drone yeah I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste my time with an exam flying this stupid thing and killing somebody I'll get one of the when I get uh, when I get all the cash in then I'm gonna buy the Samsung Galaxy s21 uh, and then I'm also going to buy a drone that's under 200, it's under 250 grams. That way you don't have to be registered with the FAA and all that crap. Yeah, I use clothing boxes. I donated a ton of stuff, Susie. I always donate clothes and things, yep. You bought the Note 20. I think that's a little big for me to use a Note when I'm recording. Right, I've got to be about this size. If you start to go much bigger, then you start to affect the scene because people change their behavior when they see bigger recording things, whether it's a pad or whether it's a big camera. The bigger the gear, the more apt you are to influence the scene, right? So I don't want to do that. It's more flat than big. It's not how much I want for the drone. It's the drone was uh, about eighteen hundred dollars new. If I can get, you know, nine hundred for it, I'm happy. I've had to think for three years. I've done great videos flying over the Beverly Hillbillies mansion in Bel Air and over Watts Towers in L.A. I mean, I've got some fantastic videos. The schoolhouse from the birds. You can see that right on the front page of the channel here. The playlist called uh, Awesome Drone Flights. You can see all that. Good day, JR. You have to register. Yeah, you know, now uh, you usually get a letter and you're subject to a $50,000 fine if you're warned and then you fly again. And I don't need that stuff, right? It's another money maker for the government. So I'd rather just get rid of that drone, which is way over my head to fly that thing. I never felt comfortable flying. I thought it's apt to kill somebody if it drops down on a road on a highway and just bam, you know, somebody thinks it's an alien attacking and runs in across the divider of a of a of a road and gets in the head on and dies. Yeah, I accept PayPal. Yeah. PayPal.me backslash Rosie O'Kelly. I just don't feed it into the ground, you know. I'm always grateful for the support, but it's not the thrust of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. 
I've not been monetized since March 1st. Uh, tomorrow, uh, that may change as I reapply uh, tomorrow because things seem to be all clear. But it's not been that, you know, it doesn't change what I'm doing on YouTube. I, I just enjoy what I'm doing here. So, yeah, I do have a PayPal and I do get in, enjoy uh, support and I am grateful for that to everybody. So, it's not, drone, what they're doing now, Amelia, is that they're monitoring people that do drone videos to FAA. And they're sending letters to those people now and warning them that you have to take the Part 107 examination for getting a pilot's license. Okay, that's the way they're tracking them down. And if you don't do that, if you monetize a video, uh, then you're liable for the fine. In other words, I think you can fly it for fun. But if you use it as part of a video that you're monetizing for YouTube, then your commercial use, then you have to be uh, licensed. So There's Gone with the Kale. Honey, I didn't even know that, uh, uh, Kale, I didn't even know you were an uh, uploader, honey. What a cute gal. Uh, you know, what a, what a beautiful woman, gone with the kale down there. I really enjoyed seeing her uh, doing some cooking with her friend and uh, did a big weight loss. And, uh, honey, you were, you were A-OK -okay both ways, okay? You look good. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Uh, air condition is a beautiful thing. Yeah, license for the government. Yeah, the drone weight, if you're under 256 grams, uh, then you, 250 grams, then you don't have to worry about it. So guess what? I'm going to get a much smaller, lighter drone, and I'm going to fly that. Because I never go more than 400 feet in the air anyway, right? And I'm going to try to get good at it. Okay, but it's not going to be the focus of things. It's going to be worked in with my travel videos. Uh, well, my birthday's not quite yet. Not quite yet. Hey, Barbara Way. How are you doing? Uh, my birthday is um, not this Monday, but the following uh, Monday. Uh, Tommy talked about a year ago. Yeah, that's great. Uh, that's great. That's good. Yeah. Hey, Barbara Ray, how you doing? I was just wearing my circus tent from Walmart today. It's comfortable as hell. So, what's the nozzle behind me? What nozzle? The hell's the nozzle? Nozzle. You know, you see a nozzle, son. <laughs> oh, that's where you can put an outdoor sink here for... If you're barbecuing or something like that, you can you can hang a stainless steel sink right here, and it has the hot and the cold stubbed out there that you can just uh, and a drain there if you want to set up a. I, I always tried to think ahead when I uh, renovated the place how I wanted things to be, and I thought it might be nice sometime to have an outdoor sink that you can so you don't have to run in the house with greasy dishes or whatever. So. Um, I want a nice big fat ass, but that's probably not going to happen, right? <laughs> oh, thank you, Bliss Bliss. Thank you. Yeah, I always tried to think ahead. That was a painful recovery. I had a bikini tuck. That was really nothing. That didn't really, uh, you know, that wasn't real pain. I don't know. You know, it takes a lot to inflict pain into me. Yep, the 21st, so, yeah, it was nice to see that, so uh, make sure you sub up Gone with the Kale, she does uh, content. I didn't know you knew Lamont and uh, all of those people in there, so that was a real awakening. Yeah, if you're doing video, if you're doing uploading or you're doing content creation, make sure to let people know on here, like I'm plugging Dr. Cushman's channel today. Uh, yeah, this, uh, really, this is just called a back deck. It's got the pergola overhead, and, uh, yeah, you can go look at the video of what the rancho used to look like when I first moved here. You can see all the, what a shithole it was. 29 again. Yeah, remember when that, uh, car hit the house, Amelia? Yeah. So, 
side sink. Yeah, you used to have a sink out here. Just hook it up. I used to have a stainless sink. I don't know where in the hell it went. But I never ended up um, uh, setting it up. Um, mainly because one of the columns of the pergola right here is kind of right in front of where it would be. It'd still be very usable, but... Uh, you know, I just never, never had that, never got that intense. Never got that, let me turn that around, there we go. That level of intensity, so. Uh, yeah, there's gone with the kale. Um, yeah. So, I would not do surgery, you know, they'll go ahead and do that, will yeah. You got my room, I'm ready, honey, I'm ready. Uh, Amelia Airhead has drama parody on her channel, so if you can put a link to Amelia's channel there, I will immediately go to that and sub it up. Now you can't get, the, you can't send Amazon pa pa packages to a, um, yeah, I guess you can send Amazon. It's FedEx that you can't send to P.O. boxes, okay? I think Amazon you can. Hey, Tattoo Crazy, have a great one. What do I want for my birthday? Nothing. 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 If people really feel inclined, I'm hoping maybe I'll be monetized, re-monetized by then, which would be the, a great present. Because I have fought copyright issues for the better part of uh, three months now, and it's tiresome. Love you, Tammy. Oh, you had an infection. Sorry to hear that. There's Monkey Boy. He can sit on other people's panels for hours, but he only gives me a ride by. All right, Monkey Boy, we know how that goes. Just cool. I love outdoor kitchens. I would go easily climb roses from the farm. Grow easy climbing roses. Yeah, but you need to. Uh, there's Amelia. Let me sub up Amelia. There we go. Oh, honey, you got a lot of stuff. You got a lot of stuff. So I'm I'm on the job. There we go. Uh, yeah, you should do a panel. I don't do panels, Barbara Ray. Before there was a G Mangoes, before there was a Cooper Chats, there was a Rosie O'Kelly that was doing panel chats every Wednesday and Saturday. Wednesdays from 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. on the West Coast. And Saturdays from 5 p.m. to like 1 a.m. in the morning west coast every friggin uh saturday year two years and i just burned down on it because it did they all just turn into shit shows and um jerry springers and uh they just all become messes after a while so it wasn't fun anymore all better now okay good uh, uh, best doctor i got more of my face okay good yeah, so I don't think I'm going to, if I do anything on lives with people, it'll be spotlighting and interviewing one person at a time and getting to know one person at a time and what they're all about. And it'll probably be on a Skype call that'll be recorded and then it'll be uploaded to um, YouTube, something like that. Kale just uploaded a new crime story. Eh? Put me in the interview list. It was only a minor infection. Antibody cleared up rap infection rapidly. Well, that's good to know. And the arguments were crazy. You hardly got a word. And yeah, I would have 10 people on panel. I'd have uh, eight people with a link that can't get on, six of which are texting me pissed off. Boot this person off so I can get on. I'd have Berg screaming at me on the phone right on speakerphone and it just was like wow i just got to end this craziness and then uh you know uh cooper took over and then ran good and then um you know things just went from there yeah the problem is with roses do well here the problem is the, the climate in the west is changing a lot and it's probably turning into a desert climate. So water is going to be a real consideration out here. Not so much for us, but for places like Nevada, 
uh, that are east of the Sierras. West of the Sierras, Sierras, we should be okay. But east of the Sierras, uh, it's going to be going to be very difficult out there. It doesn't get screwed on the yeah. If, if you want to make sure Rosie doesn't get screwed on the way road again, tips are appreciated. Yes, never expected, but always appreciated. Pansy, we won last night. Thank you, honey. There's a beautiful Pansy Gronsky, my tag team partner there. Thank you, Pansy, for the heads up. Heads up. Uh, yeah, I will die in. I'll wear that Mickey Mouse. What you can tell us about this. That's what I'm telling you, Bliss Bliss. This is serious, serious, serious business. You got Lake Mead that sits out there at 30. 8% of capacity. It's at the level it was when it was filling in the 1930s. And you hardly had anybody using water downstream in the Colorado at that time. Okay. And uh, you're going to start to reach a level where you're not going to be able to generate power at the dam anymore because there's not enough water flow to go down the intakes and drive the turbines. That's going to be the next stage. And it's lucky for Las Vegas because they have the last straw in Fort Meade at the very, I mean, at Lake Meade at the very lowest level. So their straw is the one that'll go dry last. And that's, uh, you can't think of that lake as straight down. That lake is like a martini glass. The lower, the lower it goes, the faster the draining. Okay, so the the rate of drainage and the rate of usage is increasing rapidly as it goes down. Oh, yeah, very comfortable. Yeah, kale is wonderful. Um, yeah, we'll see if we can get kale out here to the rancho. Your video segment on the news. Too. Oh, okay, thank you, Psyche. My video segment was on there too. Yeah, that's cool. Spectrum uh, Media picked up my, uh, they were starting to syndicate that clip about Slab City there, so I'm happy about that. Lake Okeechobee. Yeah, thank you, Kale. Very sweet. I love your hair all bobbing around and everything, so. Uh, yeah, so I'm happy. Uh, quite a bit of my media has been used on, um, keep producing content, and people enjoy it. Almonds, almonds, yeah. They're trying to ration our water rapidly, yeah. Lake Okeechobee. What lakes do you live here near here? I live near Lake Sonoma, uh, Lake Berryessa. Those are the two uh, big lakes here. A lot of our water comes from the Russian River, though. So, so we're lucky. We have the Sierra feed. We're not in the near as dire straits as other places are. So. But it's bad. Yeah, die is like I liked it when you had panels. Yeah, the panels were good. It's just it's um, um, they just became Rosie Springer shows. They were just they were just out of control. And the next day I'd have repercussions. My shit would be up on clip channels, and uh, it just it was just you know. Phew. Wow, right? You look at it the next day like, holy smokes, man. I can't believe it. Yeah, Dr. Cushman. Thank you, Charla. I gave a, a plug for Dr. Cushman. Also, make sure you're subbed up to Charla Unplugged. She is a content creator, too. Okay. Oh, the lake on your property. Yeah, Lottie knows. The pa panels get crazy. And I still contend... You get the same people together day in, day out, week in, week out. You're going to have fractures. You're going to have splintering. You're going to have infighting. You're going to have doxing. You're going to have... Uh, it's just inevitable. Drop money. toxic as hell. Uh, you know, Shimei, I would really seriously reconsider uh, relocating to Vegas because uh, 
you know, the uh, climate, like I, I'm, I think I've gone down to Vegas on Wednesday. It's going to be 117 degrees, which means it's going to be 128 to 130 degrees down on the street level. And, you know, the rate of evaporation of Lake Mead, and uh, it's not to say we're not going to break the drought, but it's just... Lake Mead will never fill up again because of the usage downstream, the number of people that are using the water. So. Uh, hot one today, retiring over three that were tattered on it. Oh, very nice computer chick. Make sure you sub up the computer chick too. She does a lot of stuff. She does some fun, some fun things too. On there. I have tech problems using my phone, the phone problem solved, yeah. So hot you can melt. It's just dangerous. Yeah, real fuel 101. It's gonna real fuel is gonna be up around 120. So how do you spend your days? I can only spend so much time at the pool, right? You jump in the pool, you feel refreshed, you get out for five minutes, you're blistering hot again, you jump into the pool, and blah blah blah. Yeah, it's fun to go to a topless pool and hang out there. It's a lot of fun, but you can only do that for so long. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm not sure. Uh, people say, Rosie, you love Vegas so much, you should buy a place there. Uh, you know, if they're giving one away. Right. But otherwise, um, you know, I go in the summer just to visit and see my friends and hang out and do some choo-choo and... Uh, check out Black Widows and go to Hoover Dam and Boulder City. So I, I know exactly what I'm going to do, and I have a lot of fun, and people really enjoy that. Uh, but could I live there year-round? I don't know. Maybe if I took up poker full-time, uh, professional poker circuit. And, but even then, you have to invest so much time. You, know, you enter a tournament with 800 people and you can invest three days and get down to the final 50 and walk away with nothing. So, it's just a picture of uh, green algae. Getting a beach umbrella. Yeah, it gets so hot in Henderson, the kids can't go out. They're working on a new pumping station for Lake Mead. Interesting. Okay, it's just because to me it's just, you know, when I think, we all know property always crashes periodically. So my goal will to be to get a place on Oahu in Hawaii. And when I'm finally sick and tired of traveling, to go over there and spend, you know, four months of the year or whatever over there and do my do my stuff from over there fishing and uh, do all that crap yes yeah, banjo it's the same weather every day not a cloud in the sky it'll get up to the mid to upper 80s today we'll be having kitchen stadium tonight I'm gonna have a steak I haven't had a steak in kitchen stadium for I don't know how long, so. Yeah, it's nice. Go now. Okay, my world, my way. Take care. Uh, take care of your lovely body. Your body. Love to see you again. I always do. Body beautiful, baby. Uh, develop an allergy to sun. Okay, well, pecan, baby, you're not missing anything. Uh, cover up. A lot of smart people cover up. I spend less time in the sun than people think I do. All right, I got Mexico City coming up next month. I've got uh, Alcapoco. I got Vegas coming up. A lot of stuff coming up. So, uh, seven foot long beach umbrella with built in table on back order from Walmart. I'm waiting. Take care of your bodies. Come and take it. It's meant to read, take care of everybody. <laughs> well, <laughs> people are invested in my body. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, so I don't know. So I'm still I'm still torn on the fence. I got more work to do in Southern California down there. I got more uh, towns to visit that nobody ever heard of. Or, uh, you know, I got a lot of stuff to do coming up. So. Oh. <sighs>
Hey, Kelly, how you doing today? Good to see you. Henderson Pavement turned my Nike soles into gum. I'm just saying, yeah, I mean, it's I love Henderson. I want to go over and walk Henderson again this time. Uh, I love I love the town of Henderson. It feels so different from Vegas, and yet it's a part of Las Vegas, but it feels so different, as does Boulder City. That's what I love about that. That's what I love. R.C. Robertson, how are you doing, sir? Good to see you. Pengrove is this kind of spooky town. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's, there's just some, there's just some vibe. Every town has a vibe to it. And it was just a, just a weird vibe. On a three mile, I had to work to get Dan. Yeah, there you go, Bliss Bliss. The streets are lined with bricks of Acapulco gold. No, I haven't been to Agora Hills. You know, I won't drive someplace just for a restaurant or something like that. And it has to have something that makes it interesting. You know, Diane, it's just, it, there's got to be, there's got to be a story to be told, right? Because I like to tell stories. I like to be able to uh, tell, pe tell people what happened here and what the consequences of it were. And, how it got lost in the pages of history. So, chickens and roosters sound like somebody was being murdered. Oh, no, no, no. Jesus, I'm like, friggin' wigs almost standing on end. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, you know, so that's, you know, it's, it's all very interesting down there. And I enjoy traveling to small, small towns. The 101 drives right through there. Maybe you've been through near Calabasas. You know, um, again, Diane, it's just like these, what I call Calabasas, these rich communities. And, you know, there's just... What are you going to see? You see, you see hills with houses on them, but there's no real history of note. There's nothing that really, they just became a suburb of LA, right? It's like Irvine and um, Anaheim, except for Disneyland. What the hell is, what the hell is Anaheim? It used to be orange groves. I mean, there's no, there's no stories to be told there. That's the problem. Rain in 12 minutes. So, uh, well, Fort Meyer always trouble creating green nets now. I bet there was a bit, wow, a cool barbecue restaurant in the Gore Hills. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'd rather take people up to Hashimoto's, Hashimura's up on top of the Hollywood Hills with that beautiful view of uh, L.A. might actually pop down to LA um, I might hit the road tomorrow and hit LA for a couple days I'm not sure I'm not sure I haven't decided only, but I got to ship out a lot of stuff I sold I've only been to Penn Grove once never you know uh, and in other towns just as sweet as in Santa Rosa yeah yeah LA you miss LA well, when are you coming up to the rancho, Kale? So I can chase you around the rancho. Elmer said tomorrow, very hot sun, 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, it's global warming, guys, at its finest. It's here. So I said, welcome to the new dark ages. Welcome to the new dark ages. Uh, after my van is converted, if you will have me recreate chicken in a bag for kitchen save, wouldn't it be awesome? What a great idea, Shemay. Chicken in a bag. God, Shemay is just shit. Let's um, let's ice the, let's throw out some chicken, and uh, damn sight, man. Let's uh, 
Let's make some chicken in a bag, Korean style. How about that? Hmm? What a damn good idea. I'm going to have to eat this uh, steak before I hit the road, though. I guess I could throw it in the freezer. No winds, no. It feels like 97. Wow. There you go, Jen Jen. Yeah, Shemay is awesome. Yeah, she is. She is. She gets some good idea. Well, I guess we'll... I don't even know if I have a brown paper bag for chicken in a bag. Right? Hey, Noreen. How you doing? Ah. 63 degrees here in the Pujasan. Yeah, I'll probably have a chance to see you before you come here, Kale. <clears throat> that would be awesome. I'm supposed to take a trip up north to Alcores or Al... Al I don't know what the hell the town is. It has the ferry that takes you over. Alcores or something in Washington State. Do, 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 do. We can do we can do chicken in the bag kale style, right? I finally got my car out of the oh my god, D. That just sucks so bad, man. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm so sorry, man. Uh, unbelievable. 94 today. The heat, it's it's going to be in the 80s here. The real heat's going to be when I get up to the high desert. Uh, because I want to bring some content up there, but damn, when you're walking around, like, remember I was walking around that water park, and it's 117 degree air temperature there. It just takes the starch out. And you're sweating like a dog. Are you going to be out and about? Keith, I'm going to do a kitchen stadium tonight. We're going to do uh, chicken in a bag, Korean-style chicken in a bag tonight, uh, which is going to be uh, which is going to be great. Chicken in a bag. One of my favorite. Every time I go to L.A., <clears throat> I tell Kev, I got to go to the Jin Jin or whatever the hell the place is, sit on the parking lot, and get some chicken in a bag and some uh, some hype beer, Korean beer. It is what it is. Yeah, I'm sorry, uh, D. That really sucks. Oh man, that really sucks. No, MJ, it's like chicken wings and drumsticks in a bag. Uh, and it's it's you know they. Uh, They'll fry up the chicken with no spicing. And they'll fry up some potatoes, like french fries. Then they'll throw it in a bag with all the spices when it's hot and then shake it up. And the coating gets all over the chicken and fries. It's amazing. It's amazing. I don't know. I think I'll probably need more time to I don't know. We'll see what happens tonight. It might be steak. I'm not sure. I'm be sure. I'm just sorry that happened to uh, D. You know, so I'm looking forward to uh, you know doing some stuff with him and traveling. But man, that sucks. Yeah, it's pretty good, MJ. You've seen my. Uh, uh, I've done reviews of chicken in a bag and that restaurant down there. It's quite nice to sit down there and. Um, so don't be surprised if I pop up in L.A. tomorrow. I'm not sure. It just depends on what the weather is. Or what I got to do here. Actually, I can't because I got to. I got to ship crap on Monday. So. Uh, Y'all show some love. Yeah, thank you. Thumbs up. Appreciate it, guys. Emerald, oh, how are you? How you doing, Joni? Diane says, Rosie, it's a super fancy barbecue restaurant chain in Agora Hills. Well, that knocks me out, honey. Super fancy means super pricey. Okay. <laughs> so, um, you know, I mean, even though I'm boondocking and stuff like that, it's just like, wow. It's food, food prices are going nuts. That's why Mexico was so beautiful. You could just, you could eat in Mexico for one third to half the price of the U.S. and have the same or better quality coffee, you know, 
dollar fifty for an excellent cup of coffee with unlimited refills and uh, three dollars for pancakes. I mean, it was just like, man, you go down to Ensenada and it's just unbelievable, right? The El Rey Soul restaurant. You're sitting in fancy dark walnut walls with uh, brass chandeliers and waiters wearing uh, black waiter outfits and things. Unreal. Someone, someone forgot to do shake and bake. That's about it. Uh, okay, so you're looking at some property to buy online in Death Valley. Hopefully by next week I should be able to get that piece of property. Well, good for you. <clears throat> good for you. I want to see you uh, fry a couple eggs on a rock out there. <laughs> Get out there. Hey, Sharpie. <clears throat> How you doing, sweetie? And lunch specials. Typical barbecue grub with vegetarian. Um, you, Diane, you got to give up that vegetarian stuff. Right. So antsy to go somewhere and live in boxes, want to buy a house, but prices are through the roof. Um, yeah, it's hard to say. I mean, uh, do you know that do you know that 42% um, get a get a handle on this 42% of the world's total money supply all currency everything bank deposits whatever things that can be liquid and spent M1 money supply do you know that 42% the of the money supply worldwide has been created in the last year okay think about that a four, almost a 50 percent increase in money all right you want to know why prices are going up everybody's got money to spend right think about that think about the explosive growth of the money supply the fed out there just creating money like there's no tomorrow 100 billion a month sage green color thank you i like the color of the paint because it was it blends in with the landscape and it's a it's a cream and a green here i gotta fix over here this shit yeah think about that 42 percent of the world's money supply has been created in the last year <laughs> You don't think you're going to have inflation? You're going to have inflation ripping. So I don't know what it's going to do to house prices. Ultimately, it's going to be a, a crash to end all crashes and then the heralding of the new dark ages. But uh, when will that point happen? You tell me. So, Yeah, 42% in one year. 42% of the world's money supply has been created in the last year. You've had the Fed pumping money in like there's no tomorrow. And the uh, Treasury buying that and, and uh, using it to, to float Treasury bonds and notes. So it's no wonder China gets pissed because the, their, the purchasing power of the dollars that they hold, the trillions of dollars in debt, become worth less and less. So. So they're like, yeah, oh, this this country's out of control with its uh, with its money and deficit spending and all that. So why bother living without burgers? Yeah. No wonder lemonade and ice cream cones are so expensive. I mean, it's just like you walk into a grocery store. I'm in Walmart yesterday. You guys saw the videos. The shelves are empty. Shit's under lock and key. Socks are under lock and key. Really? Socks? Woman's like, yeah, they steal that shit left, right, and center. We got to practically lock the whole store down. Prices and nothing. I saw a bag of apples, like six apples for like $6.40. Are you kidding me? It's like a three, three pound bag of apples. Uh, Russia's gotten rid of its. Yeah, that's right. I got to sell. Is going up around. 
Florida property insurance is dropping. Well, you got to remember, Florida is the water levels rising. Same thing's happening in Chesapeake Bay with uh, Smith Island and Tan Tangier Islands going underwater. Right. Wow, 17 bucks for three pounds of burger. Yeah, yeah, Venezuela, here we come. Yeah, I mean, it sounds, Jen Jen is crazy. You know, 749 for uh, six apples. It's, come on. This is what all this creation of money is uh, is doing. Wait till the rent start to go up. Rent, you see what's happening in the price of gasoline. Uh, all these people, I'm seeing all these, you know how many people are writing me every day, Rosie, you were so right about the RVs and campgrounds and you know, they want $100 a day for uh, pulling in with the uh, with the fifth wheel and stuff. And we can't even find parks to get to. And the campgrounds are just overrun with, uh, it's just miserable. We're parked in so tight. It's like we're, we're not getting away from it all. We're getting, we're just back in an urban setting again. Uh, no, like buy a car and buy it automatically charges you. Yeah, bag on just your friends at their job. Food is outrageous, yeah. So I'm glad I'm, there you go, Jen Jen. R V campgrounds, Kale, that's what I'm saying. But Kale, the rancho is free. <laughs> Would take much to make that beautiful green wall of cat. That should be camo day. But you and I have been hitting the same note <coughs> and I hit it before you did and just talking about people's experiences in um, uh, they have this idea of having this RV and hitting the road and pulling into these wonderful camps camp spots and parks on the fly and they get there and if they even get a spot they're shoehorned in and the prices that they pay and somebody was saying like Thor industry has like a I don't know 1.8 billion dollar backlog of uh, RVs man Give me my van that I can park anywhere on the streets. Give me a couple bowls just to wash up, one for washing and one for rinsing, and I am happy as can be. I can park right dead in the center of city and enjoy everything. Drinking coffee with you. Yeah. Me and my friends keep going up the pay is now. That's what I'm saying. <clears throat> Thor will be backlogged, and that's what I'm talking about, Dave. Thor's backlog, and people are going to be mighty disappointed. There was, um, let me see something here. What the hell was that? That um, I want to find what I was watching. This, this, let me see something here. This woman's experience. Let me see. I don't know. It's not on this. Let me get on my other channel here. What the hell? Was this, she was talking about their experience at Thousand Trails and how terrible the experiences it was. It was called, the, the video is called Thousand Trails Nightmare. Um, it's called One Anchored Fam, the number one and then space anchored, A-N-C-H-O-R-E-D, space fam, F-A-M, One Anchored Fam. And she was talking about the how terrible the uh, Thousand Trails experience was. Um, you know, did, they canceled their membership. Thousand Trails uh, harassed update. And it just said, we're, we're being wedged in so much into these places that we, we don't even feel, we don't even feel like we're out of the city. Which was kind of weird. Over here, go back to the chat. Is that Dave? You you nailed it. You understand that. Ah, uh, so that's why I'm so glad I have the van, and that's what you should have too, Dave. Is a van. You'll never have to worry about you. You outfit that van really nice. You're gonna have the time of your life. You know, truth be told, Dave, and I don't want to let this get out. I can, I can roll into an ungated RV park, and if I really want to be a schlub, 
I can just park down there by the showers and bathrooms and take a shower. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not saying it. <laughs> I'm cheap, Dave. I'm I'm cheap. I'm cheap. Yeah, get get the van. Fit out that van. You'll have the time of your life. You'll feel like you have a real home, and you just have that flexibility. You don't have to worry about parking. You don't have to worry about being on an uh, on a street. I know you like to be in the countryside. I love urban, very deeply urban and uh, areas and because of all the food options and the histories and things like that. But I know even for being out camping. Yeah. Hey, Betty Smith, how you doing? How you doing? Hey, Tupac, how you doing? How you doing, Tupac? Nice to see you. I buy good enough for me. That's all I need. You like to urban hike? Yeah, so do I. I mean, it's just, it's fantastic. Fantastic. So I think I'm so happy. Would I like to have a conversion van or something a little bigger? Yeah. But with every foot that you upsize, your stealth goes down probably 10 to 15%. So a lot of towns you just can't put, pull up in a camper van or even a fifth wheel and class A, class C's, bumper pools, it ain't gonna happen. Val says, hey Tess, how you doing sweetie pie? Tess cooks for you, another great channel. Uh, obviously a hundred thousand plus subs. Val says, we are full timers working on the road. Yeah, look at what Val says, the slot prices are starting to skyrocket. $400 a month are now 900. Uh, like I said, when you consider that 42% of the world's money supply was created in the last year, last year to, to uh, 16 months or so, don't wonder why prices are going up. All right? You have a Ford 2000 E100. Nice. I got State Park plates on it. There's a beach one. Yeah, nice. Nice for you, Street Life. Good for you. Good for you. Pulled the camp behind an abandoned house. Yeah, thank you, Diane. Says I've seen your van. It's nice and stealth. It is. It. Um, I I park outside of the mayor of Reno's home. Okay, nobody cares. All they think is it's just a work van there. And if I park in a residential neighborhood, somebody sees it. They're walking by. Their dog. They just think somebody's having some work done in their house. I try to park like Carmel by like con small construction sites, so they think it's just somebody pulling up, uh, doing construction. <clears throat> yeah. What is it they want to spend in the morning? Six trillion likes to support. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bliss, bliss. So uh, the standard living will continue to decline, and uh, the rest of the world will get pissed off because we're debasing the reserve currency of the world and they're just gonna one day just stop taking u.s dollars and say you know what we want to we're gonna start getting paid in chinese yuan then we're gonna have a big problem all right thank you kale yeah i like to uh yeah Dave's on early Saturday, and then sometimes I'm doing kitchen. I like his Saturday afternoon show. I can call him once in a while. I watch him every day because it's it's realistic. It's what's really going on, not what people want to be sugar-coated and all that crap. Uh, check out your Mustang. And rockin', don't come and knock, and I remember that, darling. Because anybody could stop it. Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, they're not going to sit there and monitor every person that comes in and out. It's not something I would. Uh, places I go, like in uh, Southern California, you don't find a lot of RV parks. It just gets very expensive, and <clears throat> land is prohibitively expensive to do those kind of things. <clears throat> Slots are getting harder to get, yeah. This is just some, uh, I don't know what the hell this case is. This is a, like a Defender case or something. 
I don't know. I don't know what the hell it is. Stealth all the way. Yeah, um... I don't know if it's an otter. I shouldn't have gotten clear my, um... Because I had... This S9 Plus is black. And when I'm streaming on the road or something and the sun hits it, these galaxies overheat so fast. So the one that I'm recording or broadcasting on this morning is white. So it's a little less tracks a little less heat. what are you doing I've finished dinner Leo how you doing Scott Bennett from Lake County yeah yeah are you near Lucerne or where are you near up there Lakeport Lucerne yeah it just overheats Looks nice. I've got to have a really good phone for my videos with my videography and cinematography. So um, I'm going to go from the S10 Plus, which has been about two two years, two, more than two years for me, to the uh, S21 Ultra 5G. And that's going to step me up to the next uh, level because I've sold all of my camera gear and everything. I can do everything in phone that I need to do. Oh, you're in Maine today. No one at Sebago State Park. Huh? Yeah, there he goes, Susie. I know I'm going to be happy. I'm looking forward to that because it's got a nice zoom feature. And one of the things that's been missing on my videos is being able to get in tight to get some tight shots of people and street scenes and things like that. So. Good for us. I only go into some. Damn, Susie, you attract those messages like there's no tomorrow. <clears throat> you gotta be. You gotta be fast. I ain't looking for no all re hookup stuff. Time. Samsung's made it very easy for me. I can actually order it online. Get a credit for this. And then they'll ship you the new phone, and you just, they'll give you a box to ship back your trade-in. Is Jordan still coming? He's always invited to come. I'll probably see Jordan first over in Florida. Jordan Alliance. So, yeah, he's uh, very lucky to have him as a nice friend off of YouTube platform. And, uh, you know, we text back and forth on occasion. The window is machine. Yeah, I've never had it. I've never had an, an Apple product. I've had somebody gave me a, a Apple. What do they call those little uh, MP3 players? I can't remember. It's like one of the first things that Apple ever produced. The little MP3 players had like 2,000 songs in it, but you couldn't change the battery in it. Yeah, months ago I did a video about how it's the chip shortage is affecting uh, cell phones. It's S20, six times zoom. S20 has a hundred times clear as day. Yeah, th that's what I'm going to get. I'm going to get the Ultra S21. Yeah, Jen, Jen, that was nice. That was nice. Hey, what's up, four scores? <laughs> You're always welcome on the ranch. Why don't you drive out? Right? Hang out. Hang out, man. Let's uh, let's hit the road. Let's do LA, brother. Let's hit the hit the topless pool in Vegas, right? So that's exactly what I'm going for, Jen, is that S21 5G Ultra. That's what I'm looking for. Because I need to have a great, uh, the last missing piece is a great zoom and a better, even better signal. It's, luckily, I'm in urban areas most of the time, so. 
Yeah, we got the one and only four scores. Four scores. Take care, Elmer. Take care. I'm using Apple II iPhone, all Windows machines. I'm still, I still have a user of um, XP, Windows XP. They'll never pry that out of my hands. Hey, we're only 10 thumbs up short of uh, 100 this morning, guys. <clears throat> They just do big jumps like that, Susie. The next will be the iPhone, you know, S or the uh, Samsung S25 or something. So, yeah, well, Jen, Jen, you know, as much as you got to figure it this way, Jen, Jen, as much as um, content as I produce on the road, I need to have something good, especially since I've gotten rid of my drone, gotten rid of my camera gear selling everything right down to the nuts because I just I want simple in life I don't want to ha carry a whole friggin production studio with me and the stabilization is so good on these now the lenses are so good the low light capability is so good that the cell signal acquisition is so good for streaming now XP huh? I love Windows XP yeah Yeah, I'm glad I'm getting it too. It just makes life easy, Charlie. You know, this, this camera DSLR and digital camera sales have just collapsed over the last, uh, last five years because phones are just so good. You can edit right in here. I don't have to waste time with color correction and color grading and all that. Kiss rule always works, Norma. When you do as much content as I do, and you get all that video in a day, you just want to do that in your phone, send it up, and go. This is Bliss Bliss. The phone I'm talking about is the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G. And I want to have it with a 256 gig internal on it. Is this 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 the one I'm re, the one I'm broadcasting on right now live streaming I could put a supplemental card so I have almost half a half a terabyte of storage in there but they don't have a slot for new you can't put new SD cards into that yeah the GoPro footage is good yeah but I can't zoom effectively with uh, GoPro I like to use the GoPro when I'm in the pool or doing the underwater mermaids and all that kind of stuff, and the GoPro is nice. Take care, Pecan Baby. Downtown Clear Lake, nice street, mostly retired people like, well, nice, Scott. Uh, get up to uh, Clear Lake sometime. Yeah, I just, I just am not familiar enough with the iPhones. I was going to buy uh, Chris's Rich Life of Road Trips. I offered to buy his, uh, one of his phones, his iPhone, <clears throat> iPhone 12. But it just seems like he doesn't want to sell that. So that's just the way it goes. yeah the picture yeah you can do you can do great quality so i don't necessarily care about rent videoing in 8k but i do try to video in 4k and then downscale that to uh, uh you know sometimes 1080p and you get 90 percent of the quality of the 4k otherwise my videos would take days to upload on the road Here's the phone I'm talking about. Thank you. Thank you, Jen Jen. That's it. Awesome camera. The cameras are great. Uh, yeah, there's 4K. I have a 4K monitor. But the thing is, when you shoot 4K, the amount of information that your processor is taking in is four times greater than the 1080p or eight times greater than the 720 or 16 times greater than a 420p so in that huge amount of data that's coming in it gives you a lot more flexibility to 
crop a picture because you have tons of pixels uh, and you get you can get outstanding quality and then you can uh, edit that and then save that in 1080p and not have the huge file size but have the huge quality of the 4k 90 percent of the quality right so it's nice hey craig how you doing yeah the iphone has great imagery too they often compare the iphone 12 to the s21 and it really is um it's close you know they're both exceptionally high quality uh cameras and systems for me night 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 shooting is critical night videography is critical because uh cities and things are more beautiful at, they're very beautiful at nighttime you don't see any it, it's just beautiful to, to video at night people street scenes all that stuff so uh doing good the weather's finally warming i'm going to open the pool next week nice yeah, Diane, the uh, Samsung also allows, it also has um, director's preview, so it, it takes a view from each of the three lenses at the same time, and you can pick the view that you want to record, and when you record it, then hit stop, and then you can press a different view, so you get tight in, you get a medium shot and a long shot, so it's nice. It's called director's, director's cut. Kev has that. How you doing, Robert Mack? Nice to see you. Back in California. Awesome. Uh, see the street going on. It's, uh, yeah, it's, I just love to do uh, night videography. Uh, when I do get to China and Hong Kong, I mean, those places really shine at nighttime. And there's the street scenes and street vendors and the flames and the cooking and the walks and the, it's just man it's just so so action-packed it's so great it's so good yeah the iphone 12 should do great for you how you doing lois how you doing i'm gonna get a uh let me get one of my coke zeros here <sighs> thought to myself oh I'm gonna take that ex I'm gonna take that exam for the uh, drone to fly the drone and I thought screw it man screw it I'm not gonna sit down and sit for some uh, exam and just fly a stupid drone screw it you know there's so much drone footage now that's out there that you can just join a subscription service and have excellent quality drone you know what the hell's the point right why should i risk killing somebody yeah well i lived there for five years bliss bliss in uh, hong kong and china i lived on hong kong island did sit down for a drone exam and said she said it wasn't hard but betty smith i just don't feel like it you know, I want to get the little tiny drone that isn't regulated. I only put it up a couple hundred feet, just do a circle, and that's it. And that's enough for me. I don't need, uh, uh, I don't need all that extra rig and roll. I just need something simple. So I'm happy if I can get half of what I paid out of it. I'm happy. Yeah, the, everybody uses drone, but you don't do drone. You know, I just don't do separate drone videos. If I do drone, I incorporate it into the story now, and as part of the uh, B-roll, right? 
Yeah, thank you, Patty. Yeah, anything you do with this drone commercially, they're gonna, if it's over 250 grams or a quarter of a kilogram, they're gonna, uh, you're potentially fine. Under 250 grams, it's not subject to any, any rules, so. Yeah, I lived there five years, bliss, bliss, and worked there. Yeah, we flew that drone right over Sherman Oaks, didn't we, Diane? Right, we sent that baby up the Sherman Oaks Hills right there. <clears throat> Thank you, Kale. Oh, the range on the drone, forget about what you hear about the range. And my, my Phantom 4, oh, it's got a five-mile range. That thing couldn't even go one mile and it couldn't even go half a mile and then you'd have all the interference weak signal right it's forget it all right so i figured half a mile that's about it <clears throat> hey macgyver how you doing my friend from down in whiteville north carolina how you doing Yeah, I flew it over the uh, bird, the schoolhouse from the birds. You can go down and just look at the playlist right on the front of the channel here. It's called uh, something like Awesome Drone Flights. You can see the Beverly Hillbillies Mansion from the air, all 4K. How you doing, LaDonna? But I need, I need super simple. As the amount of my travel goes up, I need rock solid sim simplicity. And look at this way. Let's suppose I go to Mexico City and I smash my phone or something. I can go into a store in Mexico City and just buy an S21 Ultra and just slap the SIM card into it and I'm good to go. I can't do all that with a lot of camera gear and then I got to worry about how I'm going to upload and all that. So I have uh, I got my Mexican SIM card from Telcel. As soon as I get across the border in Mexico, I just swap out the card, purchase some data, and I'm good to go for everything. <clears throat> oh, having a sun drop. I still got a sun drop inside. I was going to try drinking that. When Chris came back, we were going to do a uh, video. But we all know how that shit all turned out, so... Yeah, people messed it up by flying near airports. Yeah, I just, I need simplicity. These things are so good now, these these uh, cell phones. and You can't make a call from a camera, right? You can't play Angry Birds on a uh, camera. <laughs> uh. Makes you want to quit YouTube, right? That's exactly right. Pardon me. This Coke Zero is pretty good. I like this. <laughs> Jen, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you're probably it's like a mix of uh, mellow yellow and seven up it's nasty but you'll probably like it <laughs> that's pretty funny that's pretty i was in paris last night when uh, the guys came over to visit pc and uh, dr cushman and the house is all torn up because i've been putting stuff in piles to be shipped and uh clothes to be washed but it is what it is that's just the way that it goes that's just the way it goes now i may do kitchen stadium tomorrow night sunday night instead of um uh tonight tonight i might be out on the road uh with you guys we just have to see um uh, yeah me and pc are good yeah i mean i i saw some other stuff regarding that i'm like wow you know there's it really makes you know there's two sides to every story and yeah we're good i hope to see you i gotta go okay take care diane yeah 
licenses for pets could pop out as many children as you dare. Huh? <laughs> uh, not too many children now, I'll tell you that. I mean, when you consider by like 20, 50, or uh, the, the population of China is going to go from 1.4 billion to 600 million people or something, and the population of uh, Nigeria will surpass that of uh, China, it's pretty, pretty astounding. There's a huge decline in, there's a huge decline in population coming a lot of the world, and I do mean huge. Hey Charles, how you doing? How are you? I've not been on much. Hey Susan, I'm glad you're feeling better, honey. I'm glad, very glad you're feeling better. Awesome. We're just barely replacing, uh, uh, we're not even replaced in this country. That's why we need immigration and stuff. But China's had that one-child policy that's um, it's like a death bomb for their country right now. They'll have the problems that we're experiencing, not enough workers and uh, uh, great shortage of women and everybody wanted boys, boys, boys. And so all that stuff has consequences. Hello, Anita. How are you? How are you, Anita? Uh, it's going to be pretty, pretty kooky what's going to happen to China. That's why suddenly they're encouraging people to have kids because it's like, oh shit, what did we do? We really screwed up. Hanging in there, good. Yeah. You've had a one-child rule for a while, and, and that's really, uh, God knows, sadly, how many uh, females were aborted. Just terrible. So, that's, that's, they always pay the price for that stupidity. There you go, street life. Saying you had four kids, you did your part. Yes, you did. I had two, so... Took a while to get my figure back, but I had to. <laughs> uh, this top's like wearing a tent, but it's so damn comfortable. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, I think we'll be doing um, Kitchen Stadium tomorrow night. And I think I'm going to be out tonight. Don't know what the hell I'm going to be doing. Let's think of something. Four kids. There you go, Charla. You've done your duty. You did your duty. Um, that's why the U.S. Uh, tries to maintain an open immigration policy because it's so important to maintain numbers for economic growth. Yeah, there you go, Betty Smith. I had two, but we do have at least one cat. That counts for one-tenth of a kid or something. <laughs> I think a dog's one-fifth of a kid, so... <laughs> uh, the world wasn't ready. There you go, Jen Jen. to uh, put the pump on and water some uh, just so damn we're going to keep the, uh, the orange trees are just suffering all the fruit trees and stuff I have two teenagers and two puppies there you go yeah your bird counts is one twentieth of a kid that's it you have one fifth of a kid that's right Norman that's right by the by the new world order math that's correct Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Here's Alan Gold. Hey, we were talking about you on News Unit today. They miss your... Uh, David misses the psychotic you on there. Look at how this is all... 
yellowing. Terrible. Oh man. This big one. This stuff is like gold. Get that water flowing. That's where the magic happens. Uh, where in the hell is the end of it? Oh, over here. I think I got it on the hydrangeas here. Oh, shit. Let the water flow. Do I got a pinched line here? Oh, what a pain in the ass. I'd like to get the hell out of this place. Ugh. What the hell was that? It's like, really? hell are we pinched? Over here. Enjoy each day. Help me enjoy it, Kale. Pinched over here. What's going on? Looks all clear. Oh, we got to open the valve of doom. There we go. The valve of doom. There we go. Nothing like well water. Those high granges. Yeah, Alan Gold. What a travesty of childbirth. This is from my well, Alan Gold. It ain't affecting you. Down on Skid Row in LA. Hey, Jody. I'm not watering my lawns and stuff. I got to keep my hydrangeas beautiful. The big double gates of the rancho. See, I got to get all this cut back. Look at how it's overhanging the driveway. insane should be over here oh, my beautiful hydrangeas Yeah, I need you to trumpet my bush. Little rascal's all right. 
It ain't perfect, but it does the job. It's paid for. Keeps me safe on the road. I don't need a trim because I'm smooth as a baby's bottom. I'm laser, lasered, man. I do a pretty good job of upkeeping this huge enterprise here. Apple tree way in the back there, fig tree. Fences are always needing repairing. This is a real rancho here. All right, let's go get the fruit trees. Plum trees are fine. Let's get some uh, water on this freaking pear tree. No pears this year. Some plums soon. Not many. Kale's going to be my queen of the rancho. The plum tree a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty nice. What's wrong with Kale? She's nice. All right, take care, Barbara Way. <clears throat> Boy, this had so many fruit blossoms on it and not one. Now one orange. What the hell the problem is? Look at how dry this tree is. Yeah, there you go, LaDonna. I'll just use the well, spray them down a little bit. They also provide some shade for the shine shack. Keeps the heat off. When people are in residence at the shine shack. Yeah, some bloom fertil. I got plenty of blooms. I guess I got one little one there. That'll probably fall off on this one. Some of them are good. There's my well of doom. Over here, I had to pull. Uh, I had to pull a. Um, I had to pull a cherry tree, dog. Just too dry. That was my Bing cherry there. This is my Stella cherry tree. My lovely cactus. I love my cactus.
Yeah, make the tree happy. Here's my wonderful peach tree. Lots of luscious peaches coming soon. This is a working rancho. Put a little on that. Well, it's been a, it's a tough year with the drought. Very tough year. Oh, thank you, Psyche. Yes, we made it. Let's hit our Valencia orange tree. Still got uh, oranges to harvest in there. For squeezing. Right. Nice Valencia's mm -hmm. keep all year round. There we go. All right. Yeah, I'm getting my signals degrading, so I'm going to call it a uh, hangout, guys. And uh, mm -hmm. thank you. And uh, I will check you all later.